Cheryl, the local woman was held up at gunpoint in a payment app robbery. Even though it was caught on camera, she had to reach out to the I team to get her money back from the bank. Now we have tips to keep your money safe. We had three guys come out of the car, all three of them armed with guns, masked, hooded, uh, demanding all of our stuff. These masked men held up Victoria Karowski and her roommate outside a Roscoe Village bar in late December. They took her purse, but there was also something else they wanted inside of her phone. They were all holding their guns up to me, telling me to give them my passcodes to my phone. After they took her phone, they forced her to give them the password access to her Chase Bank app. They then transferred money out of her Chase Bank account using the digital payment network, Zelle. They had sent themselves all the money that was in my account. Fortunately, neither Karowski nor her roommate were hurt, but the thieves took nearly $1,700 from her account. It is a very traumatizing experience. Chase credited her money while they investigated the case, but within weeks, Chase closed the case, stating the transaction was authorized. With her police report and video of the robbery, she escalated the case two more times with Chase, but lost all of her claims. That's when Karowski contacted the I-team. We reached out to Chase and Zell, and within a few days, Chase sent a refund to Karowski. Not having to worry about it anymore was just so relieving. I don't think that that would have been able to happen without the I-team. Chase told the I-team, we're sorry Ms. Karowski experienced this stressful situation. Chicago police data analyzed by the I-team shows that these types of robberies have increased. There were 110 mobile payment related robberies in 2021. That number jumped to 171 in 2022. And last year, the number jumped to 271. In late January, a Jefferson Park woman was brutally robbed and beaten at gunpoint. Attackers assaulted her trying to get banking information on her phone. In many cases, authorities say there is little people can do to prevent these crimes. They do suggest you avoid having your phone out when outside at night. Limit the amount of money that's in your checking account and consider deleting your bank app when not in use. Use the common sense approach and give up whatever they want that's material and try to get away safely if you can. Politicians, including Senator Elizabeth Warren and Manhattan's District Attorney Alvin Bragg, are calling for banks and mobile payment services to better protect customers. They want more security measures, such as imposing limits on transactions, requiring two-step verification, and better computer monitoring services that could catch the fraud faster. Several of the banking apps tell the I-Team that safety and security are top priority and that users should enable tools like Face ID and multi-factor authentication. That may not stop a robbery, but it does add another layer of protection. Zell says participating banks are required to reimburse consumers for confirmed fraud claims, including thefts like Karowski's. If they just like had a little bit of empathy, right? a little bit of humanity, and that's really like all I ask. Payment app companies say you should always report these incidents to police and the banks so you can file a dispute and possibly get your money back. Authorities may also be able to trace the stolen money to the criminal's account mm -hmm. and catch them. Rob Cheryl, this case we told you about, CPD says it is still open. No suspects have been charged. I have to tell you, after doing this story, mm -hmm. seeing that video, even I'm thinking twice about being outside yeah. on the sidewalk holding my phone out. I'm going to keep it in my pocket. Yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.